Hey guys, so today was an awesome day. I finally got to sign the lease to my house that I'm going to be staying in next year while I stay away at school. So today I decided to film my beauty travel essentials that I'm going to be bringing on my trip with me to the Dominican in about four days now. So excited. First things first, I'm going to be bringing my stuff in these giant Ziploc bags. Uh, that's what I always do, mostly because I'm too cheap to buy a regular travel bag, but it's also good for them to be able to look in your luggage and see through the clear plastic so they can see all your stuff inside and they don't have to take everything out and try and see what's in it. The first thing I'm going to be bringing is, of course, sunscreen. Now, I have a bunch of sunscreen that I'm going to be bringing, and then the two main ones I'm going to be using are also Neutrogena, but they are the Mist, the body spray ones, and I really hope that they allow me to bring this through uh, traveling in my suitcase. And I've seen people at the resorts using them, and I don't know if they buy them there or if they're allowed to bring them with them, but I'm hoping that they're able to bring them. And the first one is just Ultra Sheer and has SPF 30 in it. And the second one it also has SPF 30 in it, but it is a sport one, so it is waterproof and sweatproof, which is great for when you're going on a beach and going to be going in and out of water, and you always have to reapply. I will always be reapplying anyway because I'm very careful about that so I don't get a sunburn, but this one is extra helpful because it'll stay on, so if you don't reapply quite as quickly as this one, you won't get burned as quickly. Next thing I'm going to be bringing is these girls these Best Cucumbers Facial Wipes and this is part of the whole line, yes to tomatoes, yes to blueberries and all that stuff. I debated between getting this one and the yes to tomatoes one because the tomatoes had salicylic acid in it which is good for preventing breakouts but I ended up choosing this one because it had aloe vera in it and was enriched with green tea so it's good for sensitive skin and it will kind of be less harsh on my skin so I'm gonna really enjoy using these after a day at the beach, in the sun, in the humidity, just feeling all like, I don't even know how to say this, like contaminated and stuff. Contaminated is not the right word, but this will just be really refreshing and kind of freshen up your skin. Next thing is also another travel must, just these razors. I'm not going to be bringing all three, I'll probably take one out of the package and just put it in my bag. Next is of course deodorant. My Lady Speed Stick 24-7, and this one is in Satin Pear. I really like the scent of this one. It smells really nice. It's not flowery, which I kind of tend to stay away from, but it's not citrusy to the point of it just smelling like an orange peel or something like that. It's kind of got a nice balance between both, and um, I find it works really well, especially in high humidity. And then, of course, we've got our Travel Toothbrush, and mine comes out like that and then just clips on like that and it's a full size toothbrush which I think is really neat because then it's good for storing and it's really easy and of course some toothpaste is this the right way? I don't want to show you guys the French size so we've got Crest Pro Help travel size got my Tresemme shampoo luxurious moisture so it'll kind of put in some moisture to my hair especially going in and out of the salt water and chlorine and being out in the sun a lot this will really help minimize the damage and dryness for my split ends as you can see frizz all right here Olay body wash samples and I've also got my Marcel Climatic Outdoor Lip Balm and it's got SPF in it too uh, SPF what have we got here it says somewhere on here lip balm oh 30 SPF 30 Onto my more makeup kind of side, I'm going to be wearing this Tinted Moisturizer from Aveeno and it's got SPF 30 in it as well and I'm just not really up for wearing uh, heavy foundations and just a lot of makeup but it's really just going to like wear down my face and it really is uncomfortable for me so just something light like a moisturizer. When you go out in the evenings you kind of dress up a little bit more so you might Put on more makeup than you were wearing during the day. So for that, I've got my Superstay Concealer 24 Hours from CoverGirl Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and this also has SPF 25 in it. My Stila Waterproof Eyeliner Liquid Liner for the days I want kind of a more, I guess, noticeable eyeliner. And I'm also going to be bringing my Annabelle Just Brown Eyeliner, just for a more natural look. 
And then I've also got my brow pencil from Annabelle and it's got the little brush on the end so I can just kind of brush my brows and fill them in if I need to. And I'm not going to be bringing any blush or bronzer because I feel like that's kind of something you really don't need when you're on vacation. And I'm also going to be bringing my favorite waterproof mascara. <laughs> Um, the label is pretty much rubbed off, but it is the Colossal Lashes from CoverGirl. This one completely seals in your curl, and it really is waterproof. I've gone swimming with it on before, I've gone in the rain, I've cried with it on, it really does stay on. And it is simple to get off as long as you have a good formulated makeup remover just for your eyes. Here. My oil absorbing sheet, and these are just kind of non-brand name just because they're cheaper and they work just as well. It's got 50 sheets in it and it's really good. In humidity, you're gonna have oil on your face. Just quickly get that off, it's so useful. Get this facial sponge, cleansing sponge from Quo. My facial wash that I'll be bringing is this Atmosphere, not Atmosphere, Atmosphere, and it has tea tree oil in it. And this facial wash I really love because it is for normal oily, or blemish skin, so it's good for combating breakouts. And it also has tea tree oil, which is very soothing. It's got the loudest cap ever. Oh my gosh, how do you even open this? There we go. And it smells just really therapeutic almost. Okay, so that is everything that I'm gonna be bringing on my trip, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will answer them, I promise. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.